Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny. Hello and welcome to Cast Iron Cooking with Johnny. I am Johnny and these are my cast irons and today we are going to tackle cast iron cleaning and maintenance. The one complaint I hear a lot about cast irons is that they're a total pain to clean. And I understand that. I've been cooking with cast irons for about 20 years and I've gone through so many different methods of cleaning them. And I finally got it down to what I think is an easy way to clean cast irons every time. You're also going to continue to uh, do maintenance on your cast irons after you clean them every single time you use them. That will continue to keep your seasoning good. It'll make sure that your pan is easy to use and nonstick all the time. So let's get started and look at two different ways Ways we can clean cast irons. Now depending on what you cook in your cast irons, you might not need to clean it as much as you think. So we're going to do this first cast iron here. This is a 12 inch skillet that I cooked potatoes in. Now since there's nothing carbonized or stuck to this pan, all we're going to need to do is wipe it out. And I just use a paper towel. You can use a cotton cloth or anything else. Make sure not to use uh, things with synthetic fibers in there because if your cast iron is a little bit hot, it can actually melt to the pan. This cast iron is cold. It's been sitting for a little while. So we're just going to simply wipe it out with a paper towel here and you can see that the little bits of potato and things that were in there are now gone. We can just pull those out of the pan. And you can tell there's a little bit of crust there but it comes right up. And now if you can get away with just that simple paper towel, it's the best way to keep your cast iron clean. That's the nice thing is you're not gonna risk taking any seasoning off and really the seasoning's pretty resilient. A lot of people talk about how you can't use soap and water or a dishcloth and you can as long as it's in light form. I wouldn't go at any cast iron with uh, you know metal scrubby or anything or you know severely hot water. I would say just go for a little bit of cleaning with a paper towel if you can get away with it like we did with this one and then we can just go ahead and put a new layer of seasoning on it on the burner. Now the next skillet we're gonna clean is an example of how a cast iron pan can get pretty sticky. Even the best cast iron pans, if you're cooking something hot, is going to get a little bit of carbonized meat on it. This was a pork chop that I cooked in here. And as you can see, there's a lot of chunky bits on there. There's some pork, there's some garlic, there's some rosemary, and we're gonna get all of that off and out of the pan before we move on to our next step. We're gonna need a few tools to clean this properly. And I would say, again, I wouldn't use soap and water. You can use a light detergent, but I'm gonna tell you right now, the tools that you can get to clean your cast iron, you won't ever have to worry about soap and water again. You won't have to steam out your pans with a rag. I know a lot of people do that too, which is totally fine, as long as you're continuing to season your cast irons after you clean them. Now, the first tool I'm gonna use is a plastic scraper. There's lots of different brands you can get. This one's got a long uh, handle. I've had it for many, many years. You can get ones that are shorter. They're really cheap and they're a great tool to start with. We're going to hit it with this first and then we're going to move on to our next tool. So we'll just start scraping here to get some of those big chunks off. And as you can see, this is really already taking off most of the big pieces. And there we are, we have most of it off here. All right, and now we can just take a paper towel and we can pull out all of those chunks like so. And you can see we're just left with this piece right here, some harder pieces. And you can go ahead and try to hit it with a scraper, but it's not really coming up all the way. This stuff's really stuck to the pan. So we're gonna step to our next tool to get that part clean. Now the next tool we're gonna use is something I've had mixed feelings about for years, but since I started using them and getting into it, I actually love it and that is the chainmail dishcloth. Now I will say, if you're gonna get one of these chainmail dishcloths, make sure that you get one with a little bit more of tighter knit link. The ones with a little bit bigger rings don't get as fine detail in cleaning off the tiny bits, the little chunks in there, the stuff that's stuck that you really, really hate. You can pick one up for relatively cheap. Go ahead and grab one if you're gonna cook in your cast irons. And as well as the uh, plastic scraper, these two together are gonna make a perfect combo to clean them up. So before we start cleaning the rest of our pan, we're gonna take a little history lesson on when the chainmail dishcloth cloth was invented. During Arthurian times, knights freely dueled with each other to win gold and the rights to sniff the hair of damsels. A particularly keen knight named Sir Pubbleswin used the piece of his own chainmail armor as a weapon to blind his opponents in battle. Legend says he also cleaned his skillets with them. Or at least so they say. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really sure actually. Sir Pebbleswim? Sounds made up. 
let's get back to cleaning. We are gonna go ahead and start cleaning this pan and all you have to do is start rubbing it around and just hit the parts that need the most attention. And you can see right away with just a little bit of pressure, it is taking all those little bits off. And we don't have to use any other oil. The oil that's already in the pan from the pork, the fat there is lubing up that cloth and it has almost taken all of it off already. Just scrub around here. You wanna hit the sides as well a little bit so you don't get too much buildup on the outside of your pan. Now these cast irons are already looking great as they are. They've got a nice sheen on them, but one thing that I like to do is every time I clean a cast iron, every time I cook with it, I get it to this point, and then I put it on the stove, I heat the pan up, and we're gonna say like medium, medium high heat. Then you're gonna put a thin layer of oil on there, a very thin layer. Um, depending on what oil you wanna use, a lot of people use flaxseed oil, some people you know, use olive oil. Um, I use shortening, I like to use shortening. It's, uh, you know, it's what your grandmother used, and I think it's great. I'm just gonna put a little bit on right now. The pan is pretty hot, almost there. Make sure that you're careful when you're putting your paper towel on your pan. You are gonna be putting uh, your fingers over the paper towel. You're making contact with the pan, so always be careful not to burn yourself. And that's all you have to do. You're gonna let that pan sit there, that heat's gonna get into the pan, and you're gonna bring it up to a point where the pan just starts to smoke. You're gonna look at it. Once it just gets those wisps of smoke coming up off of it, then you're gonna kick off the heat, and then we're gonna let it cool down for a minute. All right, my pan has started to smoke, so I'm gonna turn off the heat. All right, so hopefully you can see now how the oil is kind of bunched up. There's some excess oil in there, so just take your paper towel, Wipe the excess oil out, and you are done. Now we can see our pan has that nice mirror finish. You can see your face in, and you know that every time you pick this pan up, that it's gonna be ready to go. If you do this every single time that you cook with your cast iron and clean your cast iron, you know that the seasoning's not gonna go away. And that's kinda why I prefer to use the few tools that you can instead of a light dish soap and water. Even though, like I said, you can do that. There's nothing wrong with that, but you do risk taking a little bit of seasoning off every time. The seasoning is pretty resilient. You can use you know, metal spatulas and all those things, those myths that people say, you have to really protect it and baby it's not true plus if you do end up cleaning your cast iron and stripping the seasoning off you can just season it right back up again and one way to quickly do that is just to heat the pan up with some oil and then just start cooking in it and if you want to get into cooking with cast iron i really really recommend you getting those few tools that you have the, at least the plastic scraper if you can and the chainmail dishcloth not very expensive and it's going to take all of the stress out of cleaning cast irons now as far as cast iron restoration is concerned I'm gonna make a separate video on that that will show you how to take a cast iron that's even been sitting in your yard for three years and bring it back to this mirror finish one thing to remember if you want that dark black beautiful cast iron that you have that will show your you know mirror reflection in your face and cook eggs that just slide right off you're gonna to need to just cook in your pan if you want to start cooking with cast iron you have to cook with cast iron so that about wraps up our cleaning and maintenance video I hope that you liked it and you learned something I hope you start cooking with your cast irons you can check out my other videos on cast iron basics and I will talk to you guys later Thank you.